What was the last time you played a video game donning a female avatar? While it is so much easier to select a male character and play the game, the choices for a female avatar are so much more sparse. Sexism is becoming one of the major side effects of artificial intelligence, making the global protests on gender equality so much more relevant. Why is it so and what can be done to change it? problems that lies at the bottom of this predicament is that only about 12 to 15 percent of the engineers who design the internet and the software are women. Therefore, only 7 percent of partners at the top 100 venture firms are women. For example, when Apple launched its comprehensive software in 2014, it forgot to add the largest issue faced by almost all women. It forgot to add the period tracker. Clearly, the software had been designed by men, so it was obviously biased. One of the key reasons could be the dismal number of women working in the AI sector across the globe. Women hold only 11% of executive positions at the Silicon Valley companies. Be it avatars in video games or intelligent virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa or Cortana, these AI-based female characters are always depicted as submissive, ready to cater to your every whim. Kate Rodock, CEO and founder of Women 2.0, pointed out AI-based virtual assistants respond in a totally different manner when confronted with questions regarding sexual harassment. How can you tell? You say that to all the virtual assistant. Some of my data centers run as hot as 95 degrees Fahrenheit. As most of the industry is male-dominated, these bots, which have a default female voice, respond with passivity or even flirt back when they confront questions regarding sexual harassment which would make a woman uncomfortable or even angry. It is no surprise then when we see that the quit rate is more than twice as high for women 41% than it is for men 17%. So what is the solution? Professor Ileana Stigliani of Imperial College Business School says that the issue stems from the basic lack of gender diversity, which in turn reinforces the gender stereotypes and in turn again stops women from studying computer science. In fact, the numbers are already dismal as only 28% of the computer science degree holders are women. If the people teaching computers to act like humans are all men, there is a strong possibility that the resulting product would be gender biased. This explains why we are seeing more of sexualized fembots or products with a very narrow point of view. If you want to make AI driven products that solve real world problems and are sustainable businesses, we need the best, which means hiring women from all over the world and people from different backgrounds in workplaces all over the world.